Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and ultimate system of equations. Equations are square root x plus square root x plus 32 equal to 2 minus y raised to the power 5 and second equation is square root x minus y power 5 equal to square root x plus 32. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by writing equation number 1 and 2. Now I will write equation 1. Square root x plus square root x plus 32 equal to 2 minus y raised to the power 5. Now let's consider fifth root both sides. So I will write fifth root in RHS also. Now this power 5 and fifth root will be over. So this will be left fifth root of square root x plus square root x plus 32 equal to 2 minus y. Okay. Now equation number 1 we will consider this one. Now equation 2 I will be writing by considering y power 5 to the RHS. So I can write equation 2 as square root x minus y power 5 equal to square root x plus 32. So I can write square root x minus square root x plus 32. This will be equal to y power 5. Again I will take fifth root both sides. So fifth root, fifth root. Now here I will cancel fifth root and power 5. So, here I am getting fifth root of root x minus root of x plus 32. And right hand side it is y only. This equation I will call equation number 2. Now I will add both the equations. Once I will add this minus y and this plus y will be over. Let's add. add equation 1 and equation 2. So what I will be getting after that, I am writing fifth root of square root x plus square root x plus 32 plus fifth root of square root x minus square root x plus 32. And right hand side will have only two left. This is our equation. Now we will find out the value of x. So let us consider the first fifth root as a, second fifth root as b. So very first equation which I can write from here, it is a plus b equal to 2. Now I can write two equations from each substitution. So I can write a power 5. This will be equal to square root x plus square root x plus 32. Similarly b power 5 square root x minus square root x plus 32. Now I will add both the equations. So I will write a power 5 plus b power 5. This will become 2 square root x. Very important equation. We will use it. So let me write here a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 2 square root x. Okay. Now I will take product of these two. So I will be writing a power 5 times b power 5. This will become a plus b, a minus b written. So let's apply the difference of two square formula. So a square minus b square and b is square root x plus 32. So I can write x minus x plus 32. Now x and minus x we can cancel. So what is left? a b whole power 5 equal to minus 32. So important equations are a plus b 2, a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 2 root x, 
and AB whole power 5 is minus 32. So here we can simplify it. whole power 5 is minus 32 or we can write this is minus 2 raised to the power 5. Now I can consider AB equal to minus 2. Power is same so base must be equal. Important equations A plus B equal to 2 and A times B equal to minus 2. And this equation we will use a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 2 root x. Let's find out. Let me write here a plus b 2 ab minus 2. And we are looking for a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 2 square root x. Okay, I will consider squaring of a plus b equal to 2. So let me write here whole square, 2 square, a square plus b square plus twice ab and 2 square is 4. Now ab is minus 2. So I can write a square plus b square plus 2 times minus 2 equal to 4. a square plus b square minus 4 equal to 4 a square plus b square equal to 8. Now I will take cube of the same equation a plus b equal to 2. So I will write a plus b whole cube equal to 2 whole cube. Let's apply the identity a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b equal to 2 cube is 8. Now I will put ab equal to minus 2. So I can write a cube plus b cube plus 3 times minus 2. a plus b is 2. Right hand side is 8. a cube plus b cube 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 12 equal to 8 or we can write a cube plus b cube equal to 20. So we are going to multiply these two equations to get a power 5 and plus b power 5 term. Let's multiply. So I will write a square plus b square times a cube plus b cube. So right hand side I will multiply 8 with 20. Let's multiply here term by term. So I will write a square times a cube and b square times b cube separately. So it will give us a power 5 plus b power 5. Now cross terms product a square with b cube. So a square b cube plus b square a cube. So I am writing a cube b square. Right hand side is 160. Now a power 5 plus b power 5 plus a square b square is common. So in bracket it would be b plus a equal to 160. Now we know that a plus b is 2 and ab is minus 2. So let me write here minus 2 whole square and this is 2 equal to 160. So I can write a power 5 plus b power 5 minus 2 square is 4. 4 times 2 is 8 equal to 160. So a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 160 minus 8. So ultimately we are having a power 5 plus b power 5 value as 152. Now a power 5 plus b power 5 was 2 root x. So let's put the value of a power 5 plus b power 5. a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 152. So 2 square root x 152. Divide both sides by 2. So root x is equal to 
152 by 2 so 76 so x is coming out 76 is square which is equal to 5776 this is x value and this is square root x value so let me write here x is equal to 5776 now we have to calculate y also what is y y from this equation we can derive y will be equal to equation number 2 very first slide so i will be writing root x minus square root x plus 2 and whole fifth root this is fifth root this is our y value so let's put the value of square root x and let's put the value of x let me write y equal to fifth root of square root x minus square root x plus 32 square root x was 76 minus square root of x was 5776 plus 32 fifth root of 76 minus this value will be 5808 if I will take a square root of this number, then I will be writing minus 76.21, which is fifth root of 76 minus so 0 0.21. And if you will check this fifth root of negative number, it is negative 0 0.731. This is our y value. So let us write our x, y in ordered pair. So x comma y will be, I will write 5776 comma negative 0 0.731. This is our final and perfect answer. I hope friends this video you will like. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye bye.